In this video, we will discuss how to manipulate the Physics Classroom Free Body Diagram Interactive. To launch it, click the picture and then click the hyperlink. Once the page loads, you have the ability to resize the interactive by using the small arrow in the bottom right. You'll be presented with 12 different situations. Each situation is going to be unique and you will be creating a free body diagram to represent it. Your scenario appears in the top left and your free body diagram will appear in the right. Your controls are here in the bottom left. So let's look at this one. A hockey puck glides to the right across the ice at constant speed. Ignore air resistance. I have to think about this box as the hockey puck and what forces are acting on it. Because we live on Earth, I know that the hockey puck is affected by gravity. Gravity is going to be pulling downward. But I also know that the hockey puck is not falling through the ice, so there must be an upward force as well. My upward force is called normal force. When I think I have it correct, I'm going to click check. If my answer is correct, I'll get congratulations. Let's take a look at another one. A rightward force is applied to a dresser to accelerate it to the right across the bedroom floor. Ignore air resistance. So again, this is my dresser. I know that gravity is acting downward on it. It's not falling through the floor. So I'm betting that we have normal force acting up. All right, it's pushing. There's a rightward force. So obviously, if somebody is pushing it, that's applied. And I'm betting if it's sliding across the floor, we've got friction acting in the opposite direction. So let's see if we got it correct. So sorry, your free body di diagram is not correct. The force types you have chosen are correct. The arrows per errors that pertain to the size of your forces. So I'm going to click OK, let me try again. You can change the size of your arrow by clicking it. So if my dresser is accelerating to the right, I need this arrow to be bigger. So when I click it, it becomes bigger. So now let me check it. It's prompting me to identify the leftward force. So there we go again. Let's try it now. Left, friction, check. There we go. Congratulations. So now when I return to my main menu, I've got another gold star. Remember, your goal for this activity is to get at least six gold stars.